So, this is a demonstration of how you import a GPX file into Google Earth Pro. Now, GPX is a fairly common format that you can get from a large number of GPS devices and GPS applications. Now, one of the things you might not realize is if you open it up in a text editor, say, it's actually quite easy to read. Um, essentially, it's just a collection of positions. And you can see here, each position has a latitude, a longitude, an elevation, um, so an altitude in other words, um, and a timestamp. So the timestamp you can see year, month, day, T stands for time, 24 hour time, so hours, minutes, seconds. Um, the Z stands for Zulu time, which indicates that it's in UTC, Universal Coordinated Time, and each of these is one position at a particular time. Uh, one subtle trick here is the altitude here, the elevation is in meters above the geoid. So the geoid is sort of an imaginary shape that approximates the Earth, um, not from not the altitude from the actual Earth's surface. So this means that sometimes, if, if you were on the ground level, the elevation is actually a positive number, sometimes it'll actually be a negative number. But don't worry about that because that'll get cancelled out as you import it into Google Earth. So this does mean that if you know what you're doing, it's easy enough to edit this thing. You can change the coordinates quite easily with a text editor. You can change the timestamp. You can delete chunks of it that you don't want to appear if you want to trim it or or um, remove a particular spurious point that's that's a bad piece of data. All right, so to import into Google Earth Pro is first get Google Earth Pro running. And then pretty much you just drag and drop, drag it in. Um, I've imported this once before, so I'll just say yes to this. So I choose the default options, so create KML tracks, not create KML line strings. KML is sort of Google's alternative to GPX. And then just sit back for a while. Um, so it's going to write the new file into temporary places, and you can see here this labeled GPS device, it might be different on your system. Um, open this up all the way. Make sure you go all the way down to the bottom and then click on the lowest level and you should see this button appear. This is the Play Tour button. So click on this and it will just automatically start playing um, a nice sort of guided tour along the GPS track. Um, you notice the camera is moving around by itself so you can change the way it does this by going to Preferences. Um, this is going to be different between the Windows machines and Macintosh machines but if I go to here, you can see the preferences I have. So camera angle 60 degrees. This is 60 degrees from vertical. Um, change the range of the camera, change the speed it moves. Um, for the tour, you can change the multiples of the real-time speed as well here. Um, the other interesting thing is that in 3D view, I've got the elevation exaggeration set to 2, so it makes the terrain appear twice as steep as it is in real life because actually, ironically, it makes it look more realistic in this view. Um, so let's just try changing something. Let's try a different camera angle. Um, let's try steep angle. And to make that take effect, I'll just have to start the tour again. And so now we've got a much higher angle here of the view. Uh, of course, you can also just pan around as well and you can get a good view of the whole thing and yeah you can fast forward go in reverse and stop it and move around or do different have different views of the of the track um, so that's it so that's enough that hopefully if you have a GPX file you can import into Google Earth Pro and then get a nice sort of tour that shows you what was going on or you could even send that GPX file to one of your friends um, get them to download Google F Pro and then show them this video and they should be able to do it as well so you can share your, your experiences quite easily too with your friends.